Okay, I think that we can get started. Today we will introduce 3D unit for volume matrix image segmentation. Um, this paper is published in um, Mikai 2016. Um, the first innovation of this paper is that it generalizes the unit from 3D image, uh, image segmentation to, th to 3D image segmentation. Uh, it also um, benchmark the performance of 3D segmentation and uh, it achieved the performance of uh, LU um, 0.85. The first limitation of this paper is that uh, the performance is not really high. It's probably because uh, it's the first work uh, for this particular task. And, it's, and there is still quite a significant uh, large room uh, for future improvement. Mm, and there is uh, also no performance benchmark and the comparison with the uh, state of the art uh, models. Uh, the first intuition um, for this paper is that uh, it's a generalization from 2D operation to 3D operation. A second uh, intuition is that uh, uh, so, uh, and even when you uh, do image, uh, to 2D images segmentation, those 3D information can be beneficial for the 2D image segmentation. Now let's first talk about the, uh, the approach in the very um, big level, high level, big picture. Um, so this paper consider, considers two particular scenarios. In the first scenario, uh, uh, we don't really have, for, for example, for, for a particular volume image, we do not really have all the segments uh, masks for each slice for the whole volume. Instead, we may only have a, a segmentation mask for some of the slices. And we want to train a 3D unit uh, for segmenting the whole volume. The second scenario is uh, uh, we have a data set, but uh, we only have uh, uh, annotations for some of the volumes. For other volumes, we do not uh, have those annotations. So uh, the setting considered in this paper is like a semi-supervised -super uh, learning setup. Now about the system architecture, it's very similar to the um, 2D unit architecture. The only difference is that, the, for example, for the is the, the convolution kernel and also the input uh, output and also the internal uh, feature maps. For example, when we consider the, the input part for 2D segmentation, those images uh, usually high, usually has uh, usually has this uh, uh, head and width dimension and then a channel dimension. But for 3D image, we have one extra depth dimension here. And uh, um, it first uh, uh, goes through uh, the first module, and this module uh, will do this uh, down sampling and all sequence of uh, uh, operations to reduce the feature map size, and uh, then to the second level and third level, and uh, similarly, similar to the to the to the unit two D unit, we have a like a reverse. Uh, Process basically the uh, reconstruct the the whole image reconstruct whole image segmentation mask here, <clears throat> and the final loss will be calculated based on the final segmentation mask prediction and also the ground truth segmentation mask. Uh, we get the loss, and here the output is also uh, a 3D uh, feature map. It has a it has a shape of 44 by 44 by 28 by 3. Yeah. Now here is a um, a demonstration of a, of the segmentation process. For example, for a particular raw image, we can have we can view the whole volume from different directions. So here are the the different views we get when we view this 
we may view this image from different uh, directions. Similarly, here are the uh, corresponding segmentation masks for different uh, uh, views of the image. Now for the quantitative result, I think, uh, yeah, it's uh, not bad, though not high. Um, for example, the first, I think for the first uh, uh, interesting observation is that, uh, yeah, this binary, this uh, batch normalization is uh, beneficial. We can, it can help uh, improve the performance. Another thing is uh, for 2D image, okay, for these two columns, um, they, they are all they are all about the segmentation for each particular slide, but the only difference is that um, for this for this particular column we use a, a three D image to do segmentation for single slides, but for this column we only use two D image for two D segmentation. That means that for the difference between these two is that we we use three D information for this particular column. It seems that uh, it's very beneficial for the segmentation and the performance improvement is really uh, significant. And um, they also consider um, how the, uh, the annotation size, basically the number of sizes that, that have annotation can kind of how, how it affects the, the final performance. Um, this three digits one one one. It means the number of slices uh, with annotations we have from different uh, from different view. For example, the first one it can be about the uh, x y slice segmentation, and this uh, can be the x z uh, slice segmentation. This can be yeah uh, the y y z segmentation, y z dimension segmentation. So as you can see, when we increase the number of uh, slices with annotations, uh, the performance can also be improved. And the corresponding number of voxels with annotation, yeah, it's roughly those numbers. Mm. Okay, I think that's uh, roughly all about this paper. It's a very simple paper. Okay, thank you. Bye.